Welcome back. We are here on Ethereum looking at the commodities market and the precious metals market. And this is going to be my daily forecast for January 7, 2021. If you like to support our channel, you're welcome to hit the subscribe button down here in the corner. Hit the like button and the bell button to see our newest videos. And you're welcome to join us over at Patreon if you want access to this full video with basically all uh, the analysis of all the commodities and precious metals on Ethereum. You will also get access to our signal service and our online trades and courses. So this has been uh, quite a day. So there's a lot of volatility due to the election in, in Georgia and then basically attempted coup in the United States, which also uh, had a, quite a big impact on the market. It will most likely not last, but uh, well, things got really scary, uh, to be fairly honest. We'll start by looking at the US dollar index, and as you can see, we fell to even lower levels today. We were at 89.15 and then pulled back a little bit. We we're on the edge of being overbought. Technically, gears are still very bearish at this current stage, uh, but a pullback towards the 20 exponential moving average that is roughly at uh, 90.14 at this point, that is going to be massively sold into. So uh, basically rallies are selling opportunities in this current stage but this has had an enormous effect on commodities on precious metals and indices and so on so uh, so uh, the lower this goes well the higher everything else goes so let's look at oil so we can see that we reached uh, 50.86 at uh, in in basically WTI oil and we haven't been this high for well really really very high basically prior to the to the coronavirus outbreak and uh, to be very honest this doesn't make any sense um, try to uh, test this market but was not very successful and therefore I just stay technically away from this the main reason is that this market is behaving like there is enormous demand in the market uh, when the truth is completely the opposite. There is not enormous demand for um, oil in the, basically in the market, mainly due to the fact that Europe is basically in a lockdown. Most of the major countries, the United States is not doing as well as it used to. It used to and uh, technically the world is not doing as good as it did prior to the coronavirus. So why in the world should oil, which is basically used as the as the engine for the engine of the world economy, why it should be increasing like this? Well, in my view, pure speculation. We could see an enormous fall in oil, basically at any time. Most of this move has been due to to um, uh, vaccine news. That was basically this part. Then it was basically stimulus. That was this part. And then it was basically OPEC news, and that was this part. So at this current stage, I wouldn't be surprised if we went all the way into 60. Uh, 55 is probably the target at this current stage. Uh, technical indicators are very bullish. We're on the edge of being overbought. And to be overbought in oil when the world economy is down, that does not make any sense whatsoever. We should be basically trading down at $25. That is where we should be trading, roughly down here. That is basically where we should be trading at this current stage. But we are basically at uh, uh, almost at the same levels prior to the coronavirus, before all of this started, when the world economy was basically uh, working and so on. So just keep that in mind, this is more speculation than fundamentals so but if you want to trade uh, trade this then it is not a good idea to enter here it's basically a pullback towards the 20 because the 20 is acting as major support at this current stage we ran into the 20 here and then just exploded to the upside and uh, pullbacks towards the 20 are seen at the moment as buying opportunities with a tight stop loss right underneath so let's look at natural gas So we have tried to rally up towards the 50 moving average, but I think that the, we are just witness, witnessing more of the same. 
we have been moving uh, broken down rallying broke down rally broke down rally and then broke down to 200 and now we try to rally again we're running into massive resistance here at the 50 moving average so i would not be surprised if we turned around here and went even lower uh, demand for natural gas is not as high as it was expected it to um, so the reason why is because the uh, weather is not as bad as it was expected or it isn't as cold as, as expected and that has a major effect on this market it can turn around turn around in um instant as you've basically seen here we gapped down significantly the other day to all the way down to the 200 moving average and then rallied and at this moment we're finding major uh we're finding major resistance here at the 50 moving average and i think that we are just going to roll over here and head back down Technical indicators are still bullish, but the CCI and the RSI are showing signs of basically of this turning around. MACD and the stochastic are still bullish at the current stage. So if we start to break the 50 moving average, then that is a sign that we are going to rally significantly higher. Then three uh, is basically your target at this point. Otherwise, a breakdown towards the 200 moving average is, is basically more likely at this current stage. So let's look at copper. So copper rallied all the way up to 3.7, which was also uh, where I expected this to go. We found major resistance here. Uh, if you look at technical indicators, they are we are getting fairly overstretched. We're at uh, 68, but copper has gone significantly higher in the RSI before turning around significantly. Um, Otherwise, technical indicators are looking very bullish. The MACD is going to cross the signal line in probably tomorrow's session, and that will probably kick this market even higher. If we break uh, above 3.7, then we're testing, going to test 3.8. But uh, yes, this is a market that has been rallying for uh, ever since basically the bottom of the market here in, in March last year. And now we're trading basically at 3.7 is basically the highest. 3.65 we are at this current stage. But pullbacks towards the 20 exponential, that is your entry point for the market for a buy with a stop loss right underneath. So let's look at gold. So gold did fall all the way down to 1900 as expected and then pulled back. So we can confirm that this trend line is basically up the bottom of this market so we tested it and rallied and at this current stage we may go back towards this trend line it is not very likely i think that we'll see this market um, continue higher there is a lot of uh, resistance above here but we will gradually go higher from here if we break below this trend line here, we have the 20 and the 50 moving average right underneath and the 200 and that it will be massive support. Technical indicators are looking fairly bearish at this point, but we also had a move of roughly 2.5% uh, fall in the, the market today. But this trend line is holding and as long as that is the case, this will continue higher. We started buying into this at 1900 and that was apparently the right choice. So let's look at silver. So as you can see, we also broke down here in silver. It is also holding this trend line here. We can put it up like that. It is also holding and uh, we were fairly overstretched. We are at 67 at this current stage. Technical indicators are still bullish, but are showing signs of weakness. Uh, but we are probably just going to go gradually up to, to this, um, this um, support line and break through all of these resistance areas target at the moment is actually 30 uh, pullbacks towards this resistance line are major buy-ins if this resistance li support line breaks then the 20 exponential will offer support and the 50 will also offer support so let's look at platinum so platinum has basically been all over the place today i think we we hit an area where where we there's going to be a lot of uh, resistance it is fairly overstretched 
we pulled back a little bit, but we're at 68 at this current stage. Technical indicators are turning around the CCI and the stochastic. MACD is still bullish, but a pullback towards the 20 exponential, roughly uh, 1,441. That is your buying opportunity for this market. It is um, it is overstretched. If you look at the Bollinger Band, for example, you can see that we are outside of the Bollinger Band and it is expected to pull back towards the middle. And that is roughly here at 1,041. So just wait until it falls. It will fall towards the middle of this Bollinger Band. And that is your entry point with a stop loss right underneath the 20 exponential moving average. So let's look at Pallium. So as expected yesterday, this is the, the highest of this market and we broke all the way down to 2.4. It was down roughly, I think, 4% today, give or take. We're trading still above the 20 exponential. As long as that is the case, expect this to act as support and not resistant. We are trading in a range of, basically write it up here in a, like this. So the highs are here, the lows are here, and we're trading basically at the top of the highs. This could break all the way down to this area if we manage to break the 20 and the 50 moving average. So see moves similar to this. At this current stage, if we rally up towards this area and this area holds, then it's basically a selling opportunity, very similar to what happened today. So let's look at aluminium. So as you can see, we broke down quite significantly uh, today and we are just trading above the, the, the 20 exponential moving average. We are at the 2.018 and uh, yet we probably have a chance of entering this market. However, this market has proven to have a, a quite a resistant area. So we're trading basically in this narrow range. So the highs are roughly 2.070 and the lows here are roughly 1976. So we're in the, basically in the middle of things. If we get down towards these level here, that is basically your buying opportunity. If it gets to these highs, then these previous um, tests are shown to be quite significant resistance. So we're trading basically sideways within this, uh, uh, this square here and uh, until we basically break out of this, we're just going to continue going back and forward. So let's look at nickel. So we also tested the previous highs again. We did basically a double top here. And at this current stage, I think that we are going to turn around back towards the 20 exponential moving average and probably even lower than that. So this is also starting to trade within a uh, very square, roughly the bottom here is uh, around um, 16.27 uh, and the, tie, the top here is at 17.8. So at this current stage, we'll probably go back towards the 20 exponential moving average. If that breaks, then we're going towards the 50 or the bottom of this range, and then we'll continue higher. Technical indicators are, for this are fairly bullish at this point, but we are very overstretched. We're at 60 five almost overbought and if these indicators start turning around that is a sign that this is probably going to go back down so let's look at sugar so as you can see we continue this uh, massive rally in the sugar market and if we look at the bullish band you'll probably see that we are getting very very overstretched we were overstretched yesterday but we continue rally today at this current stage, we are expecting a pullback towards the middle of the Bollinger Band. Probably we will find quite a lot of support here after these previous highs, but the middle of the Bollinger Band or the 20 exponential moving average at 0.1510, that is where this market most likely is going to head. We are significantly overbought. It's just going a matter of time before we see a massive red candlestick going down. So no interest in basically buying this. Uh, pullbacks are basically the buying opportunities. You could start shorting this if it turns the other way, but it is still very, very risky. So let's look at cotton. So as you can see, we were outside of the bullion buy yesterday and today we started to break down. And 
uh, this is a sign that we are going to go all the way down to the 20 exponential. You can see what similar happened here. We broke uh, above, had a, a kind of red candlestick here, and then just collapsed to the downside. That is most likely what is going to happen here. Every single time we have gotten outside of the Bollinger Band, we are basically broken towards the middle, and that is most likely the same thing that's going to happen here. We are being we are overbought at this current stage, so it is uh, setting up for a very nice short towards the middle of the Bollinger Band, which is roughly 0 0.7625, give or take. So let's look at the Cocoa. So this is a market that has been all over the place. It is still all, all over the place. So we are touching the basically the bottom of the Bollinger Band here. We're trading underneath the 50, underneath the, the 20 exponential. We are just above the 200 moving average. At this current stage, it is uh, it could basically go anywhere. We've been all over the place. And uh, I said it yesterday, I'm going to say it again. This is a market that you basically should just stay far away from because there is no real clear indication where we're going. You can basically make the case that this is the, pre, the very highs, 2.8, and these are the very lows at 2.2, and we're basically in the middle, and therefore, just stay away from it. If we break below the 200 moving average, that means that we are going significantly lower. If we start trending uh, above the 50 and the 20 exponential moving average, that means that we are going to go higher. But at this current stage, expect a pullback towards the middle because we're basically at the bottom of the Bollinger Band. So let's look at wheat. So as you can see, we were way on side yesterday of the Bollinger Band and today we are starting breaking down. And I think that we're going to head all the way down to roughly 620. So most of the buyers will come back in and we'll start buying there and or probably the middle of the Bollinger Band, is, which is 615. Otherwise, at this current stage, pullbacks are the buying opportunity. We were way overstretched here, or way overbought. And if you can see the technical indicators, they're all turning around. The MACD is also squaring off here and heading back down. And that would mean that the next two trading days, we are gonna see this pullback towards the middle. And that is basically your entry point because the 20 exponential moving average has been acting as major support. So hope you find this helpful. Uh, if you need, uh, have any questions you're welcome to write to me or on patreon good luck and thank you very much